up and you're sort of just um, in an acidic state to be led around like sheep in a herd. All these things start to add up to you, you know, and you really try to like start to distance yourself from the thinking of the common just everyday thoughts of this world. Um, you know, it's just like, it's just like when you try to, if you go out to dinner or you're around people that eat meat, for example, um, and if you eat meat right now, that's where you are, you know, that's where you are on your journey. But if people would open their eyes and minds and quit turning their head to it, like, oh, I don't want to see that. Well, why not? You don't want to understand that the torture and slaughter of animals brings different hormones in their body, becoming their DNA, which you're ingesting, becoming part of your cells, consuming their pain, thus becoming part of your frequency, and then you're breathing that out into the world. We don't think that what's in this world now contributes to all these what is the most heinous crime in the world, which is the, the molesting of children to me. We don't think that all the what's going on in this world and what we consume in our brain and bodies doesn't contribute to that. I, I won't agree with that any day. But people don't want to see it. They don't want to look into the eyes of an animal and see it. They choose to look away because they live on a low frequency. Um, you know, when you can start to open up, and let's just say, clear out your pineal gland, what happens is you have raised your vibration. It is the human psychedelic. This is why a lot of times I almost have to put in earplugs I will walk around a lot of times with earplugs in my ears or music that's like very, mm, it mutes out the noise. And it's not that I'm crazy like, um, like I'm friends with the voices inside of my head, which I am. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in order to be in tune with the vibration I write on, I need to mute out the world and I do that. Um, I used to do that when I, my ex-husband and I would have these heinous arguments that like would just rip me out of my guts and I would try to, to go away, go away, go in the other room, lock the door, he'd pick the lock. I'd go outside, he'd follow me, follow me, follow me. And I started to um, wear these headphones and I would listen to music and I could look at him and I could see his mouth moving but I couldn't hear his words. And it was my defense mechanism against hate because it is a different frequency that he never understood and I hope at some point he can have the privilege to understand that, but um, block the world out, you know? You're not in charge of saving the world. Save yourself so that others will gravitate to you. Um, so, you know, this talk is about, it's, it's a little hard when you're awake. You have to have some coping, coping tools and, um, and that kind of thing, you know? So it's Saturday, and here's my beautiful bouquet of flowers that, look at that, in the same jar I'm going to drink out of later. And here... You know, you, you can look at your counter and just think, um, let's see, over here on my counter, I've got my wooden spoons, my Vitamix, all my cutting boards, my pristinely clean stove because I don't use it, my computer with all my friends on there, I've got my giant bowl of avocados, I have my, my lemon water, I always have lemon or lime in my water. But why I'm showing you that is look around and be proud of who you are and embrace that, you know. And today, maybe it's Saturday, go to a yard sale. I'm fixing to go to some yard sales. I might take y'all on because um, I'm not really shopping. I'm preparing to shop and swap, which is where I'm going to buy things, turn around and sell them later and pocket, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 bucks. That's my hopes. So, um, 
though at the same time not running out more gas then in fact I'm going to profit so I'm keeping all that in mind but before that I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a 